Welcome, welcome. We're going to call this the convertible wrap. I just fell in love with this, you guys. I hope you like it. I started with a base. It's 600, and I want to kind of show it to you before I explain to you how to do it. So it's long, this is the blue and the white that I have on are the same. The blue, I just did it in a rayon, it's a woven, and the white I have on is a knit. So the blue is fabric 2408, it's a Rebecca Taylor, it's beautiful. Rebecca Taylor, it's like a scalloped rayon. <clears throat> and then what I have on is a 2414, it's like a, you can see it's real see-through, it's real light, kind of mesh love both of them. I put them both on. I really like them both. They're, they're just so much fun for the summer. So you can see that it's 600. I'll show you how to do the pattern work. It's 600. It's classic blouse, which is what we've been working on and what we'll have for the webcast Monday. But I wanted to kind of sneak in a little preview of, of something we were going to do. So you can see I've made a kimono sleeve and it's just long. But this is a top I saw it in Nordstrom's. And I can't say I copied it, but I copied it identically. <laughs> All right, so it's great. I love it. I saw it, um, and it wasn't cheap. So what you do is you pull this up. You can wear it down, but you pull it up as an option, and you just tie it at the waist. And you can do one. You can do two. It doesn't make a difference, but it's just adorable. So if I want to, and I'll just kind of move her out of the way for a minute, I can untie mine and just wear it down and you see when you wear it down it just kind of covers everything or nothing or it's just kind of a long covering. I just think it's so cute and it's so versatile. It'd be great for vacation if you want a couple different looks, one for evening, one for day. A swimsuit, I mean, you know, yada yada. All right, you, your imagination will take you there. But you can do it out of a knit or a woven. Either one works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make this a kimono sleeve. So kimono sleeve, all I'm going to do is take my sleeve, I fold it in half, I overlap the top just by the seam allowance, and then you don't know which angle to do, just leave a little bit of gap there at the bottom. And you do the exact same thing in the front as it is in the back. So for this one, when I did that, the distance from right here at the base of the neck out to here is 18 inches. So that just gives you an idea as to how, wide, how long it is. Obviously that's styling, it's not fixed, you know, by any means, but it's styling and it just kind of tells you how overhang it is, or you know, how much it hangs over. You don't want to, um, and then just make it the width of the sleeve. That's why you put the sleeve on, so you know the angle and you know the width that your arm needs. So you're gonna fold it over like so. Okay, and then you just bridge and connect it. So, this was 13 inches longer than the pattern. So you can see that if I undo this, on me that 13 inches turns out to where it's like knee length. So you can see the back is just straight. There's the kimono sleeve and the back it's just straight. Then the front, you also add the 13 inches, but you can see that you take it up, 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 and you taper to nothing right at center front. And then you take your curve and you're going to draw a v-neck. So you just kind of take everything off. You just make a v-neck, use your French curve. On my French curve, let's see, I broke the numbers down. I used 19 to 4. So I put 19 up here and 4 at center front. I went 19 to 4. That was my v-neck. It can be anything. You guys know that. Those will just give you some guides. So you're going to go from the base of the neck. I didn't make 600 any wider. I took it right there at the base, 19 to 4, and then once you get here, you cut back out to the side. Now, you want to make it wider than your base blouse. So, like, I made it 8 inches additional, and the reason why is because when it's hanging down, you want to be able to have enough to pull it up and make the tie. And so if you don't have extra, it won't make the tie. So... Figure about two inches on each piece additional to the size of your blouse, but just know that you'll have to have enough to, to tie it around. And you can just practice. Do one practice, and you'd be surprised how easy it is and how much fun it is, and I hope you'll like it. I just love it. So we're going to add 13 inches to the back. This comes out to be 18 inches wide. That's all styling. You know that. You make the kimono by overlapping the sleeve and then just style the front. 
You could, if you wanted to, when you wear this down, you could add like a little closure, a little tie right here. And you could just undo the tie and you could actually wear it both ways. So if you had a tie here, and then if you wanted to open the tie, you can see the tie would kind of get lost when you tied the front, you wouldn't even see that tie closure. So I thought about putting a closure on it right in here, just to see, you know, just to see if I wanted to wear it open. But either way, it's called the convertible wrap. You know, technically not a wrap. A wrap doesn't really have sleeves, but I love this one. Happy Sewing from Silhouette Patterns. Oh, you'll need about two yards. Sorry about that. You'll need about two yards. Now, Happy Sewing from Silhouette Patterns.